It is a fresh new day here at Hotel Oscar, and in the previous day, Hilma dug deep into the ground beneath her cave, creating a staircase that will lead her down to what I hope will one day be quite the mine. Whether or not we'll need to go deeper before we start to dig, we'll find out through trial and error. Perhaps the ceiling will hold. There's only one way to find out, eh? But the first thing on Hilma's agenda today is dealing with the large amount of acorns that she has. And thankfully, there is a way to blanch many acorns at once. However, she will need something to sift them through, a sheet or a canvas sack. And so, that is where she shall start today. Kia ora, Legionnaires, Rykon here, and welcome back to Cataclysm in a Wood. We're here with Hilma Baron and her gaggle of geese <laughs> and dinosaurs. Yes, it's a nice early morning here in Hotel Oscar, and Hilma has her large clay pot ready to go for her to deal with a whole heap of acorns. But for us to do that, if we jump in and have a look at acorns here, we can see that, yeah, we can now blanch them. As you can see, it is a mix of water and hulled acorns, slowly leaching tannins. It'll take about a week before they are palatable. So it's going to use a fair amount of water. So we're probably going to want to go and reload our water before we begin this. Well, in saying that, we need a canvas sack or a pillowcase or a sheet to begin. I've had a look at the canvas sack and I've had a look at the sheet, but I haven't had a look at the pillowcase yet. Let's just see what it needs in terms of resources to... Nope, we can't make one. Okay, I think the best thing for us to make here is probably going to be the canvas sack. So we need to have 12 rags for that and we've got enough to make those rags quite easily. Yeah, so we're just going to be using a whole heap of sinew to make the 12 rags required. Let's get that started. And that was incredibly quick. So next up, have a look at the uh, canvas sack. Yeah, we got everything we need to make it. 12 rags, the extra sinew, which yeah, we will be using sinew primarily just because we've got a lot of it right now. And there we are. That should be everything that we need to get that started. However, like I said, we are going to need a lot more water. Yeah, and something that I haven't really realized yet is that the large clay pot actually contains a lot more than the clay canning pot that we've been working with prior. So only 25 liters in here, whereas we can fit, yeah, 37.5 liters into this clay pot here. So I think we might go and fill that with water, and I think we should be okay to, uh, to do that. So let's go wield that sucker and go grab what we need from down below and we will be harvesting the mushrooms today and attempting to process those but for now let's go grab some of that water and we're going to pour it straight into there how much 150 units of water very nice so we'll go and uh, plop that into the fire for now just so that it'll start processing but it's fine for it to be just regular water for this i believe we should have all of our acorns in here i think think yes it looks like that is the case and we've got some rotten fat in there we can still make use of that though so i'm not concerned right we do need to get started though so let's go search for acorns yet again and blanching acorns is what we are looking at doing and it looks like we can do yeah three lots of them at this stage so that's going to do 60 of those acorns which is not bad but i think having access to a whole heap of water could be the way to do it and you know what we actually don't need fire for this. We just need water and a hammer and a sack. So theoretically, if we go down to the well downstairs, we'll be able to do all of our acorns. Uh, in saying that, it does also take a fair amount of time, as we can see. It's half an hour at a time. So maybe, maybe we do try and do this in smaller doses. Yeah, <laughs> so let's just start with the three for now. I will stop probably should have stopped that a little sooner just so that we could actually have a look at uh, closing the door back there and we'll continue working on that craft and there we go okay what do we want to do put them into a container they need to be in a container yep that that makes sense and that's why having a good clay pot ready for them would probably be the way to do it so 15 liters worth i think we're probably just gonna have to try and split it up between the other large stomachs and stuff that we've got yeah and just into that clay pot yeah so that actually does take up quite a bit of space noted 
it's probably worth us trying to make another large clay pot. It would take quite a while for us to do it, but it would be worth having that there. We could probably unload the ones that we just plopped in as well. Yeah, 3 hours and 19 minutes. Okay, well if we can get pottery down, we will be a lot faster at doing this in the future. Let's use these short cordage pieces, and we'll go and use some of the wood ash. Okay, ah, right, we just lost light there. Unfortunate, we were nearly done as well. I'm not sure if we need that fire still. No, 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 indeed, we do need the fire. Okay, let's plop a log in there, start that fire, and we'll finish it off. There we go, that's our large clay pot so if we go to that and try to insert let's see if we can grab those yeah there we go blanching acorns so we'll select them and all of these here as well okay i think that's a lot yep there we go we got them in there we'll just kind of leave that to the side there and we'll eat some of these nice vegetable pies that i prepared in the morning we'll have some of that nice hot clean water and we still have some daylight left i don't want to go to sleep just yet so you know what? Let's actually pop downstairs and we'll harvest those mushrooms. Yeah, we should be able to just harvest. Let's see. There we go. Harvesting away and retilling the soil at the same time. Nice. Not bad. Let's go and haul all of those together and we'll see exactly what we've ended up with. A fair amount of mushrooms and a fair amount of mushroom spores as well. Whether or not we'll be able to replant those, I I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, too cold. Too cold still. Well, let's just grab the mushrooms that we want. We'll leave the spores down here for now. Stop hauling them. What I wouldn't mind doing is making a whole heap of woods soup uh, and just having that sitting in the fire. We just fill one of the pots with it. You know what we're actually going to do at the moment? We're going to unload the clay canning pot and we're going to pour that into the large clay pot that's there. Yeah, that works for me. So for us to make a woods meat soup, we have to have some dehydrated vegetables, some mushrooms, but the kind of base is going to be broth. So we need to have a fair amount of broth going first. And we certainly can make some with lots of cattail stalks to spare. Let's go make a a whole heap of broth four hours and five minutes we'll work as long as we can just closing that door yet again let's just put that shovel away for now eh we don't have to finish this tonight we'll just work for a wee while actually you know what we probably will <laughs> we'll get that done and we'll pour that into for the time being the clay canning pot just so that it's there we'll go and eat our pies lovely and we'll drink some of that nice clean water fantastic so we're gonna go to sleep in the morning i'm gonna try and see if we can make some of the wood soup for ourselves, and we're just gonna try and keep it on the fire we're gonna try and keep it hot and see if that'll work out for us for now though yeah let's get some zines okay it's the morning the fire is still going we're gonna start off by having some of our pemmican uh and this isn't the panaceous pemmican so we should be perfectly fine to eat this stuff a okay excellent we'll have some clean water to wash it all down and then let's see if we can make some wood soup indeed we can and we can make a whole heap of it at that excellent uh so we'll, we will have a little bit of broth left over so what i think might be a good idea is to clear out that canning pot if we can of some of the broth so let's just go pour that into let's say a large sealed stomach excellent so that container should be free for us to use once we've actually finished this recipe yeah there we go so that's gonna be 44 portions of woods meat soup uh we are going to use the smoked meat first because the smoked meat doesn't last as long as the dehydrated stuff we do have enough broth that shouldn't be a problem at all we'll close this door over here and we'll start working on it bam very quickly after it's done so we're going to pour that ah damn it really hmm Okay, I guess because we were cooking in it, we might not have been able to use it right away. So we're just going to have to put it in other things to start with. And then we'll go and put it into the big clay pot that we've got. Oh, and the fire actually went out there as well. So let's see what we can do. Ah, oh, it's because there was actually a little bit of broth left over. I miscalculated, I see. Well, I guess it would have used the broth from the other sealed stomachs and stuff like that first. Okay, okay. So we're going to insert into the clay canning pot wood soup wherever we see it. 
Excellent. Done. Now let's put that back into the fire and we'll make sure that we keep a fire going there as well. Excellent. Now, speaking of fires, there is actually a new fire tool that we can make that I think is going to be more than worthwhile, and that is the fire piston. However, we do need to have a clay canister. Yeah, that'll be the easiest thing for us to make, so let's have a look at that. Clay canister, eh? What do we need? What are we missing for you? Let's see. Ah, leather patches. Not a problem, we can do that. Let's look at cutting up one of our tanned hides. Yep, we'll get some patches from you and head back into here and clay canister. There you are, an hour and three minutes. Let's get it done. We should be getting close now at this stage, I believe, to um, getting the pottery skill. <laughs> I don't know why that was so difficult for me to get out. Oh, look at that, we're very hungry. So let's have a look at our hot meets soup um so theoretically and supposedly by keeping this thing on the fire it can stop it from spoiling as fast because we're kind of constantly keeping it boiling um you know it shouldn't spoil at least that's the uh, that's the plan obviously it would boil off eventually but uh we're gonna see we're gonna we're gonna trial this out and see if that works for us um it is going to be super, super just beneficial for us though. There's so much in the wood soup that helps us out. Right, let's stay focused. Back to the fire, nope, let's see, fire piston. Yes, so we recharge this with tinder. Fantastic, we finally have something that we can actually just recharge. We don't have to make a new one every single time. It is a fire starting tool of Southeast Asian origin consisting of a thin, hollow wooden cylinder sealed at one end and open at the other, and a wood piston forming an airtight circular seal with it, making use of rapid and adiabatic air compression to ignite a piece of tinder. It also comes with a tinder container to keep the tinder dry, used to start a fire. I'd love to. An hour and three minutes for us to carve this thing out. We'll use some cordage. And there we go. We got what we need. And supposedly, we need to eat more calorie-dense food, which means that we just need to eat more food in general. So, back to our soup. It's going to be quenching. It's going to make us happy. Uh, we do want to make sure that we try and keep our um, diet varied still. So, yeah, we'll check on that. And also, the mushrooms. We want to make sure... Actually, we've only got one mushroom left. Yeah. Okay, well, we made good use of them, didn't we? Yeah, I'm not going to be eating the wood soup all the time. I will be popping into here where we will be having our pemmican, making sure that we stay nice and full. And before I forget about it, I do want to have a look at our proficiencies over on the side here. We've got so many of them now. Uh, let's just see where our pottery is at. We are nearly there, 94%. Very close. Very, very close. Okay. So now that we have the piston, we are going to need some tinder for it. So let's just have a look at making some basic tinder. And we should be able to do that with birch bark or anything else really. Let's just go until we've got 200. There we are. And we'll use the splintered wood because it's really all it's good for. And as for our other fire tools, we'll just go drop those off for now. And I believe our piston, there it is. Okay, so let's go get you reloaded with the tinder that's on the table and you let's go give you a new designation we're gonna go f because um yeah i feel like that makes sense for starting a fire okay good stuff now before i forget about it um there are a few other things that i'm going to want to try and have a look at today we're going to try and put a sail on mike the bike yeah yeah i know how it sounds but envision this for me, if you will. There are vehicles that, um, you know, primarily you kind of use them on beaches. Um, they're kind of like, it's like windsurfing, but on land. It's like land surfing with wind. Wind land surfing. Wind land surfers, is that what they're called? I'm not sure. But they're effectively lightweight vehicles that have a sail. Um, as to how good that sail is going to be in a forest, I don't know. I really don't know. So we'll see whether or not that is something that we can actually make use of. We still need to make a seat for this as well. Uh, so yeah, we'll look at making some sheets. Before we do that though, I do want to do a little bit of fitness. And there's more that we can do than just, you know, bashing at this thing here. There is actually a fitness key that we can make use of. Yeah, workout. That's what it's called. Okay, so let's have a look at that then. F3, start workout. So... 
Physical effort determines workout efficiency, but also the rate of exhaustion. Light exercise comparable in intensity to walking, but more focused and methodical. Moderate, okay. Enough effort to break a sweat. We've got active, which is strenuous, but in a controlled manner, and then high. Maximum effort, full power, exhausting in the long run. Do we want to do some high intensity? Let's just start off with active exercise. Let's just say 15 minutes, and we'll just see how that works for us. Okay, huffing and puffing. We'll continue training, and we'll say for another 15 minutes. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I guess this is, this is working. This is exercise, right? Another 15 minutes. And these are just training cycles that we're doing here. I imagine sit-ups, press-ups, whatnot. We'll keep on doing it until we get to be quite tired. Let's just go for like half an hour now. And I think at this stage, we'll stop training. We are actually tired. We're very thirsty. How is our athletics looking? Was it actually going up from that? No, I don't think it was. It's sitting at just one at the moment. Which means that we would need to do a little bit more work. Our bashing skill is down as well. So if we just have a look at practice again. So yeah, bashing. So if we just bash for a little bit here, that gets our proficiency back up. All right. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't take much. Oh, actually, I did. I did want to stop, but here we are. So yeah. Oh no! <laughs> stop crafting. Yes. Ah <laughs> oh, dear. And let's just do the athletics beginner, and we will stop practicing. Yes. There we go. There we go. All right. Very hungry. Very very thirsty. Let's pop back in. We'll mostly just have pemmican and water at this stage. I want to try and see if we can keep the soup around for a little longer. That thirst will start to go down. So, sheets. Let's have a look at sheets. I think the easiest way for us to make them is making these cotton sheets down here. Yeah, so 154 cotton sheets needed. We've got four, so just 150. Uh, that shouldn't actually be that difficult for us to do. So, yeah. If we just do... Oh, yeah, we do not have enough thread, huh? We're going to need to make more thread. And I'll be honest, I'm not 100% sure how we made our thread to begin with. Yeah, I'm trying to remember. It could have been through making rags and then disassembling them to kind of pull the threads out. That could be a way to convert plant fiber into thread. I'm just trying to remember if there was some other tool that we used to do it. I don't, I don't think there was. Let's experiment. We'll make a rag real quick. I will say use sinew and we'll see if disassembling it, we end up getting sinew back from that. Okay, no, we get it. We get thread back. It takes an hour for us to get that, but we do get thread. So that certainly is an option for us. Let's just drink some more water for the time being. And obviously, yeah, we'd need a lot more of that. Let's just go make another few rags for now. And then we'll take these rags apart. All right, I'm very hungry again. So back into here. Let's have some more of that uh, nice pemmican. Good stuff. Close that door on up. I know we should be doing more acorns today, but look, I got distracted. And heading back into the sheets here, having a look at the cotton sheets, we're going to go for this one here, and there we go. We can make a we can make a fair few. We can nearly we, we are definitely going to need to do some more construction, deconstruction, etc. But we're on our way. So more rags. Well, the sun is set, so. Maybe not the best plan for us to do that. And that does also mean that we can't work on the acorns because there's there won't be light downstairs or there won't be natural light. So we'll leave that for tomorrow morning. I guess the only thing is I don't like to go to sleep while we are just light weariness. But we still have burnt a fair amount of calories today, so maybe we just leave it at that. Yeah, let's call it a day. Well, we certainly slept for a fair while, enough that our fire has actually gone out. Let's start that fire. And it uh, looks like the meat soup is still hot. So we'll go and drink some of that to start the day. A whole heap of that in actual fact. Excellent. So I think before we get started on trying to make a sheet and whatnot. Oh, <laughs> I'm also realizing to make a sale, we do need two sheets. And we'd need another sheet to be able to make the kind of basic seat for that as well. So maybe making sheets ain't the best idea, the best use of our time, eh, Rikon? No, maybe not. But hey, we've got we've got thread out of this, so that's still that's still a useful <laughs> use of that time. But right, acorns. Let's focus on the acorns first and foremost, eh? Let's shift all of them out of there for the time being. 
start moving them along the floor. We're going to be taking them downstairs with us along with the uh, existing large clay pot. Yeah, that should do, right? Oh, we need the canvas sack as well, don't we? Yep, let's grab that. Okay, on our way down we go. We're hauling some uh, dino doo-doo with us as well. <laughs> uh, don't worry, I have also not forgotten about the mine. We're definitely going to do some mining today as well. This just uh, is a new thing that we can get done. Blanching acorns. We've got infinite water. So it really is just time that goes into this then. We will have processed a thousand acorns by doing this. Do we have enough space? Portions 1,000. I don't know. It'll tell us. Okay, we do not have enough room. Okay, so let's let's reel it back. Okay, let's reel it back even further. It might be upset that we already have stuff in there. Oh, no. No, it's it's good, I suppose. Right, well, let's put that down and start working. And hopefully we can put them in that existing container. We can. Okay. Oh, wow. Is that that's full? We've already filled it up. Ha. Huh. I wasn't expecting that to get filled so, so easily. Yeah, 150 blanching acorns. That's a lot. That That is most certainly a lot. We could probably just leave the other acorns down here because, I mean, they're not going to freeze. We know that. But, uh, yeah. Give that a shot. Too cold to plant, and that's down here. We can definitely check upstairs as well. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. But um, we can we can at least bring the blanching acorns back up with us. So we'll grab that pot, and yeah, we'll leave the leave the other acorns down here for the time being. Be sure to check on these once they are actually done. Once they've gone through this whole process, and I wonder, does it give us an idea? It'll take about a week before they're palatable. Okay. Well, I suppose we will find out, won't we? All right, well, let's pop in. Let's have a snack. Uh, and it is also worth noting that the smoked meat has uh, unfrozen. Every Everything in here has unfrozen, it seems. Which means that temperatures are rising. So let's have a look at our root cellar. We're pretty much going to be transferring everything else across now because, uh, well, let's say everything but the rotten stuff. So let's get those cattails across. All our dehydrated fruit here, the oil and all the rest, we can leave that. Same thing with the pemmican, just because that is, you know, destined to last a fair while. Yeah, that's, that's looking good. So the next thing that we'd want to try and make with the actual tallow that we have is some more pemmican, just to have that preserved here. Yeah, all right, well... It's going to be a little bit of a time sink, but we can do it, can't we? Let's actually eat some of it first, though. Excellent. Time to get to it. And I guess this is the thing. We really want to make sure that we are using the right tallow. So I'm actually going to try and see if I can separate the rotten tallow and just put that somewhere else altogether different. Chunks of mutant fast as well. We'll move that out because all that stuff can be oil. Um, so, yeah, we just want to make sure that we... <laughs> We don't end up using that. So for now, you're just gonna stay out here so we cannot see you. Right, and pemmican. Oh boy, it'll take a while. That's 200 portions of pemmican though. So yeah, let's uh, let's get to work on it. And honestly, the next few days are going to be this. So I think we are gonna do some fast forwarding here. Well, of course, we did manage to actually get that done, which is fantastic. But, uh, you know, we're pretty tired now. The sun has set. We're going to have some of that meat soup. And we can see that it still says less than three days. So it hasn't, it seemingly hasn't gone down. I think keeping it hot on the fire does actually keep it lasting. I don't know if that's just soups. But, yeah, we could try and keep other food heated over time. Hmm. It's worth thinking about. But yes, let's go get some sleep. Okay, well, we just finished quite a few batches of pemmican. As you can see, we've got a whole heap of it in there. Um, and yeah, I don't know if keeping the pemmican hot 
is better than keeping it cold. I mean, obviously, I, I, I feel like no. <laughs> I feel like that wouldn't be a good option. And plus, I'm pretty sure it would just uh, burn in the fire. Unless we were storing it in a clay pot and keeping it warm that way. I don't know. Maybe that's a way to uh, work with that. But uh, it is a little bit later in the day. We are on day 15 of spring. We're halfway through spring. So we might be good uh, to have a shot at planting some things outside. We're just having some clean water here. And then we'll go poke our head outside and see if maybe we can actually plant something. Too cold to plant. And this is at midday at the moment. Uh, so a little bit later in the day, we might be okay. We are seeing some aphids still uh, down towards the south. So we are going to have to do something about fencing this area off. Um, because they will, they will most certainly cause problems for us in the future. So what's going to be the the easiest fencing option for us when it comes to construction here. So fences are planks and nails, and that's a that's a fair amount. Honestly, the woven wattle fence will probably be the easiest thing for us. It takes a lot of time, but sticks are generally pretty easy to come by. Just because you have to build an entire fence, that's a that's a lot of planks. That's a lot of wood that would go into it, and a lot of nails as well. Whereas this is just mostly long sticks long sticks and time and we can get long sticks you know from young trees we do get some from chopping down the larger trees as well i think we've actually got a decent stockpile of sticks as well so we could look at getting some of that uh set up so that you know once we can actually plant we'll be good because yeah look at that we've got litter here so there has been something around here I mean, obviously it could have just been a bird, and fences are going to stop birds, but worth this thinking about. Uh, look at all that rotted mess. Mm. I'll tell you what, I'm going to go see what we've got in the way of sticks, and we'll see if we can maybe get a little bit of that constructed. We actually don't have as much as I thought. We've got lots of long sticks, which is good. We will just have to break them to be able to get the uh, regular sticks, and we need to have a shovel as well, I believe. So, let's pop on outside with this lot and see if we're good to go. I think the best thing to do would probably be to kind of start from the side here and kind of go from there. So, first things first, let's just go and break some of these sticks up, I think. Okay, all right, there should be a fair few sticks. So, a woven wattle fence. Okay, let's get started. And we could just, okay, we can just use the long sticks for that. That's that. Okay. Let's move on, start working on the next piece. Actually, hang on. Yeah, that's the narrow fence posts. So I guess we could leave the one as it is there on the corner. Actually, it wouldn't be that one, would it? Anyway, let's put that down for now. And I think we'll go and put another one just at that corner here. And these two that we've just put down, we'll actually turn them into proper fence pieces. Okay. And will that line up properly? I suppose we'll see, won't we? There we go. Okay. Right. That's working. And, uh, yeah, we, we actually have to climb over it. So it does work as a proper obstacle. Neat. So that's going to be the way to do it, I think. It's just going to take, it's going to take a fair bit of time and resources to do that. Well, I think for now I can at least get the basic layout done with what we've got here, so I'm gonna get that, uh, gonna get that done. Okay, and the sun has set at this stage, but we, we didn't really even get halfway, but, <laughs> but we got some of it done. It's one of those tasks that is just going to take a while. You know what, I kind of wanted this episode to be a taste of everything, because, uh, a lot of the stuff I'm probably gonna end up doing off camera, or at least through time lapses, just because it's not gonna be as interesting to see the same thing happen all the time. Let's have some nice wood soup now that we're back in here. Excellent, lovely. We'll go and have some of that nice pemmican too. Excellent. Full on that pemmican. Right, so we are tired at this stage, but we're only moderately weary. So I think what I would like to do to kind of to finish this day off is to grab our pickaxe and just pop downstairs to see if we can chip away a little bit at our mine that we have down here. So let's just go turn on our light. And um, let's see, I think 
it might be best for us to go east because then if it collapses then we know we know that we're going to need to go another floor down but for now let's activate this pickaxe and we're going to dig through this rock here and we'll see how that goes getting a little tired towards the end there let's pop up the top and look at that okay no we we are good we are good so theoretically we could just kind of continue on from that point and you know what let's see if we can maybe do one more oh yeah no we slow down a lot so we'll stop there that's fine but we started chipping away there all right time to sleep once again oh of course just after we turn off that lamp of ours all right well good morning good morning is that an egg that's an egg that's a goose egg hell yes okay well i wasn't expecting that at all okay well let's let's kind of make sure that we keep you warm but not too warm eh hot damn okay well let's let's go get rid of that litter as well we'll just put that litter down into the fire two goose eggs okay well that's fantastic okay if we can get if we can get a few geese going on here then well that's just going to be fantastic uh that's food in the in the long run for us uh very very good okay <laughs> i just said a, no no they, they can't they can't they, surely they can't reproduce together uh, i was thinking i was just like that would be interesting hmm dino egg there yeah no <laughs> all right let's go have our breakfast soup lovely some pemmican too oh i just did a quick test you can activate the acorns and it will tell you if they're still bitter as the days go by that way i can kind of figure that out so i guess at this stage i need to make a decision when it comes to projects um I do think it's going to be worth us getting this fenced off because, um, yeah, it, it's something that we need to do. And we'll probably bring the fence right up to that point there. And we'll probably even bring that fence across a little bit further and then go up that way. And that, that way we shouldn't have things wandering in here. At least that's the plan. So I did just have another thought. No, <laughs> that's silly. I was thinking we could just build a rock wall. You know, we could just build a stone wall around the outside. Uh, no, that's 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 too extreme. A fence will do the job just fine. But we are going to need a fair bit more wood to be able to do that. We've still got some sticks out there, which is, you know, that's good to see. But it might be worth us having our axe and, uh, you know, it gives us a, a, an excuse to chop down some more of the trees that are along those paths. I'm actually not sure where our axe is at the moment. We have our wood saw, which... Um, we can actually just keep on our tool belt. Yeah, so let's do that for now. Uh, I'm gonna grab some pemmican just as a snack for today. We'll take 10 of those out with us and let's just grab some clean water. There we go. Right, so popping outside, I'm just gonna continue working on this fence. We are actually gonna have to chop down these trees as well. So uh, I'll keep that in mind. Our torso is warm as well, so we could probably do with taking off our gambeson maybe. It's going to be a little uncomfortable just having the uh, leather armor on us, but it's okay. That way we're not going to be sweating. And I will be checking to make sure that we can plant. So as soon as we're good to go, we'll get it done. Right now, we're going to have to do a little bit of chopping here, it seems. And there we go. Okay, so let's just go and pull that out the way. Have a snack of pemmican, some clean water, and keep on working. All right, now... You, tree, do not crush my fence, please. So we want to go and chop you down. Directly to the west, thank you. Excellent, that's what we like to see. Well, let's get that chopped up. Done, excellent. So, we can always come back and chop that up. We'll leave it for the time being, though. Okay, that's as far as we can get with what we've got so far. So we are definitely going to need a fair amount more sticks. Honestly, easiest way to get them I believe is just by going after those young trees. I mean, I will just chop this into logs just to see what we get out of that. And we'll do it to the second one as well because uh, we will still get some long branches by doing this. Okay, let's see. Yeah, just just one long stick. Yeah, so not, not really worth that. We'll definitely take the long sticks. The logs, we're obviously going to be able to make use of them. Uh, so we can go a little bit further. Yeah, that, that's it. <laughs> we can get one done. Yeah, so young trees. That's going to be the way to do this, I think. So, um, yeah. Time to go and attack some of them, I think. 
Honestly, we could head up our path and just see how things are looking. Heading along the way. We'll see a few fires still going by the looks of things. And obviously, yeah, we do have a few young trees around here as well. I actually went past our, our connection. Yeah, you know what? I'm just going to take down some of these young trees and uh, go from there. I'm going to see how difficult... Okay, it's quite difficult, it seems, to, to smash that to pieces. And we get one long stick from that. So, <laughs> this is going to be a bit of a process, I think. Might actually just use a long stick to, uh, to bash them. <laughs> I feel like that works out okay for us. And hey, we are getting some, you know, withered plants from this at the same time, so that's something that we are going to be able to make use of. And the sun is actually setting, so I'm going to keep at this for a, a wee while longer before we head back home and, uh, well, leave this stuff until the day after, I think. Alright, we've made it back and, uh, we are extremely wary at this stage, but we managed to get, uh, 136 long sticks. Okay, I didn't realize, uh, <laughs> damn, Helma. I did not realize we'd gathered that many. Okay, well, I'm very, very happy with that performance. Okay. Let's uh, get this fire going again, just so that we can kind of keep it rolling overnight. We'll have our late night dinner, and then catch some sleep. Well, I gotta say, it feels much more achievable now. Our goal of getting that area fenced off. Let's head outside. The sun is already up. We'll get to it. There's a bastard aphid hanging around here right now. That's <laughs> just laying out this fence. Ah, oh, dear. Yeah, it's why this is going to be necessary. And also, just double checking. <gasps> it's warm enough. It's warm enough to plant. Okay, well, I guess we know what we're doing. The sooner that we get the stuff into the ground, the better. We've got a whole heap to get planted, don't we? Okay, well, we've got all of our seeds in hand. Let's see. Oh, yep, yep, no, we can most certainly get that done. Hot damn. Okay, so we planted everything bar, it looks like, uh, what was there? Strawberries. Oh, okay. You know what, let's just, let's just put this zone in again. Yeah, that should do it. Save those changes, and let's plant those seeds. Hot damn. And we've still got a lot of seeds left over. Like a lot of seeds. That is a ridiculous amount of cattail seeds. I mean, we've got all the wild vegetables planted, but we've still got a fair amount of strawberry seeds left as well. I mean, we could theoretically till out to here. I mean, like, that's kind of what I was saying, right? Just leave a path in between. It's possible. You know what? The trees that we have here, I think we are going to get rid of them. Yeah. Clear things up a little bit. I, I am a little nervous about chopping them down. I mean, like, with that, we could kind of go that way. You, uh... I guess we, we don't have to chop them down, do we? Yeah. No, we, 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 don't, we don't have to do that. But I guess it could be could be good to see some more cattails. <laughs> yeah, we might actually end up cutting down the tree by accident. I, I, I guess we'll see. Yeah, I mean, that's going to plant a fair few more, but we're st we'll still have space. Ah, we are going to need our shovel, though. Okay, let's, uh, let's do that. All right. Yep, there we go. Getting to it. Planting at the same time. And it's finally too dark to work. So, uh, you know, we'll finish off what we can. And then, oh my god. Have they already, have the aphids already been at this? Eating the seeds? They might be. Because we definitely planted down here. Son of a bitch. Okay, alright. It's going to have to be fence first. You know what? I'm just going to try and see if we can finish this off tonight. At least up this side. So, light on. Okay, we're extremely weary now, so... I think it's probably worth going to sleep and just attacking this again in the morning. That's frustrating. Okay, wow. Got there. Now all of the basic fencing is in. We still need to go back and do some more. Uh, are these just logs? I think they're just logs. They're just logs, that's okay. Let's have some of our clean water for now. Sake that first, or slake rather, that thirst of ours and now, I, I don't think that we need to leave the fence posts there because we seem to be able to just pass through them easy as. So I'm going to convert all of these into the proper ones. And this is where this is going to take a while. 
for each of these, it's going to take around about an hour each. So that's what? Well, I'm at this point here, I'm already well above 40. So uh, that's going to take a while. It's going to take multiple days for us to do this. So uh, yeah, I'm going to get stuck in. And should anything wild or wacky occur, I'll let you know. Otherwise, we're just going to be just chipping away at this fence. Well, we made it down to here, but we have run out of sticks, so I'm going to have to go and do some more gathering. Okay, we've got 102 sticks, so I feel like that should be enough at least for a little while, so we're going to head back with this lot. Okay, just checking in. We've managed to get all of the bottom done at this stage, but we're out of sticks again, so we're going to have to head out and see if we can do some more collecting. And with that, the deed is done. We have a fence around the entire area now. No way for something to get in. That took a lot of work off camera to get done. Many, many sticks went into this. And thankfully, you know what? We do still have some left over at the end. We are going to have to make a gate here. But for the time being, I just wanted to make sure that we were we we're going to keep everything out. Um... Not going to take any risks with that. Let's also just make sure that there isn't anything locked in here at the moment. No, doesn't seem to be. But we can see that our seeds have definitely been attacked, uh, which is not great. <laughs> Certainly not. But it's been a busy, busy few days for, uh, for Bridget here. We're on day 23 of spring now. We started off on like, what, day 13? You know, we were definitely, you know, before the halfway point. And we've made it all the way now. And I guess one thing I want to check. Let's just see. Acorns. Can we... Oh, we can't test you. Interesting. We could test it before. So maybe that means it's good now? Let's just wield that pot for a moment. Hang on. After a week of changing water and taste testing, the acorns are no longer bitter and ready to decant. So we should be able to unload them out of there. I wonder if we can load them straight into this. Insert products. Okay, we don't have any. If I unload it, I, I don't seem to be able to unload it. No, no, we can't unload those. You can't use blanched acorns there. Interesting. Can I insert them into here? Nope. Well, they, they certainly are ready to be used, but they're, I mean, they're blanched now. They spoil in four days, so I definitely need to do something with them soon. So I'll have to figure out exactly what we are going to do with those acorns. But for now, you've earned yourself some rest. We worked hard to get that fence up in time. We really didn't have that much trouble with aphids last year. But it seems all of Helmer's activity is drawing them near. And I imagine that's not the only thing. I do have wander spawns turned on, so there's always a chance that something terrible could wander our way. We shall see, eh? For now, I'd like to thank you all for joining me for another episode here with Hilma, and I apologize that we were missing an episode at the start of the week. I hope that all the progress we've made today has helped make up for that. So, if you enjoyed today's episode, please consider leaving a comment or a like to let me know if you enjoyed the show. For now, I have been Rykon. You have all been awesome. And until next time, stay tuned.